For decades, Voyager 1 has been drifting silently through the vast cosmic dark, far beyond planets, moons, and even the influence of our sun. It was designed for four years of service. It's lasted over 40. But now, in 2024, something has changed. After months of garbled transmissions and digital silence, NASA finally received a new signal, clear, coherent. One last message from a spacecraft billions of miles away, a message that proves something scientists long suspected, but the world continues to ignore. This is not just a technical update, it's a cosmic warning. And the final words of Voyager 1 might be the most important signal we've ever received from deep space. In the 1970s, when the planets aligned in a rare celestial opportunity that occurs only once every 175 years, NASA dared to dream bigger than ever before. Two spacecraft were born from that ambition, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, twins launched weeks apart, each with a mission to explore the giant planets of our solar system. Voyager 1 would fly past Jupiter, then Saturn, gathering images and data no human had ever seen before. It captured volcanic eruptions on Io, icy fractures on Europa, and the haunting atmosphere of Titan. But what made Voyager unique was its trajectory. After Saturn, it veered away from the planetary plane, not toward more planets, but toward the unknown, into interstellar space. Its power, a mere 22 watts, less than a refrigerator light bulb. Its computer memory, smaller than a smartphone photo. And yet, it survived the radiation of Jupiter, the chill of deep space, and four decades of silence. By the time it left the solar bubble in 2012, it was more than just a spacecraft. It was a time capsule, a ghost ship from Earth, sailing into the void. In November 2023, Voyager 1 did something terrifying, it stopped making sense. Its signals, once steady and decipherable, became a stream of random, unreadable binary. To NASA engineers, it was like listening to someone whisper nonsense after a stroke, alive but unreachable. Months passed. Commands were sent. Nothing changed. Some believed it was the end. After all, the spacecraft is so far away that each command takes 22 hours to arrive, and another 22 hours to hear a reply. A single misstep in memory reallocation could permanently destroy what little communication remained. But on April 20, 2024, everything changed. A new signal came in. This time, it was different, decoded, intelligent. The team had done it. They'd managed to remotely repair Voyager's memory system, reviving the spacecraft across 150-plus astronomical units of cold silence. For the first time in five months, Voyager spoke again. And what it said wasn't just a technical readout. Embedded in the stream was data, strange fluctuations in cosmic ray patterns, sudden changes in plasma density, an echoing hum that's been persistent for years. It wasn't random. It was structured, consistent, and deeply unfamiliar. One of the strangest and most ignored findings from Voyager 1 has been the detection of a persistent cosmic hum, a plasma vibration at 3 kHz, steady and undisturbed across years of travel. Scientists originally dismissed it as background noise. But it never went away. And now, it seems louder. This final transmission shows something remarkable. The hum doesn't just exist, it varies. It pulses. It shifts in intensity. Some experts believe it's the signature of interstellar plasma waves. Others aren't so sure, because the pattern resembles resonance, almost like an artificial rhythm, a structure. For years, we've imagined silence in the space beyond. But Voyager proves that beyond the heliopause, beyond the sun's reach, there is sound, not sound we can hear, but sound that moves, patterns that repeat. And this raises the question, are we picking up remnants of ancient stellar explosions, or are we hearing something else? Whatever the source, it's not static, and it's not random. Voyager's final message might be saying what scientists have whispered in private for years, we are not alone in the silence. The truth is, Voyager 1 has been telling us something all along, about the boundaries of our solar system, about the violent nature of interstellar space, about the fragility of Earth. Its famous pale blue dot image, a grain of dust in a sunbeam, 
was never just about humility. It was about vulnerability. Voyager left the only home we know and looked back. And in its final act of endurance, it's offering us one last glimpse of what's out there, and what's at stake if we keep ignoring the signals. The recent transmission wasn't just data. It was proof, proof that the universe is far more active than we assumed, that beyond the protective bubble of our sun lies a domain where radiation pulses like breath, where ancient supernovae leave scars, and where Earth is utterly exposed. And yet, here we are, distracted by noise, while a machine from the 1970s, powered by fading plutonium and tapes older than most of us, keeps whispering truths we refuse to hear. When Voyager 1's final transmission was decoded, most news outlets focused on the technical feat, memory reallocation, communication restored, another chapter for a dying spacecraft. But buried in the raw data was something else, subtle patterns, slow pulses in radiation levels, variations in plasma density that didn't match any known solar cycle. Some believe it's the result of an ancient shock wave, maybe from a supernova. Others suggest Voyager is brushing against boundaries we never knew existed, like invisible walls in space where the laws of particle behavior shift. And a few, quietly, cautiously, wonder if Voyager has encountered something not natural at all, not intelligent necessarily, but intentional. Structured. Repeating. The data doesn't scream alien. But it doesn't scream random either. It hums. It pulses. It continues out there, in the black. And what makes it eerie is that Voyager seems to be listening, not just speaking, observing something we don't yet understand and transmitting it home, like a messenger from a war we don't know we're part of. For decades, we told ourselves the vacuum of space was quiet, emotionless, a place where nothing lives, nothing speaks, and nothing listens. But Voyager 1 has shown us otherwise. Because what it sends back is not silence. It's a canvas of chaos. Solar storms still reach it. Plasma waves shift around it. Invisible boundaries flex and ripple as if space itself is breathing. And then there's the hum. For over a decade, this frequency has been constant, a 3 kHz background tone, unchanged, uninterrupted. Not tied to solar flares. Not altered by the spacecraft's movement. Just present. And now, it's changing. Slightly, slowly, almost imperceptibly. But it's changing. When the team compared recent readings to older ones, they noticed microvariations, minute fluctuations in pitch, amplitude, even rhythm. It's as if the void is responding. Or acknowledging. Or echoing. And while no one is calling it a message, some are beginning to call it a dialogue. Each Voyager carries a golden record a 12-inch disc etched with the sounds of Earth, greetings in 55 languages, music, images, the voice of a president, the waves of an ocean, the cry of a baby. It was never meant to be practical. It was symbolic, a cosmic gesture, a note in a bottle cast into a galactic sea. But now, as Voyager 1 drifts in interstellar space, that 